A lot of sexual misdeeds going on out there in celebrity land. That's really a male problem. It's really a male problem not being able to control your constant sexual impulses. Comedians, judges, TV hosts, and congressmen have all been having trouble lately. In fact, I can't think of a time when there's been this much sexual misconduct on television. Oh. So anyway, I'm sure you are aware of the string of accusations of sexual misbehavior of famous dudes that has been in the news lately. That was totally unredeeming and horrible. It's easy to lump every one of them who has been accused into the same category and treat them all as though they have all committed the same crime. But it's just not true. There is a spectrum of horny prick behavior that exists, and while I do not wish to belittle anyone's experience in any way, being victimized by any one of these walking erections would be terrible. I do believe there is a hierarchy of horny behavior that exists, and so I will now list each celebrity accused of sexual misconduct and rank their accused sexual behavior on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being the mildest rating and 10 being the worst, most appalling rating. There will also be a 2 times bonus multiplier if children are involved. So, let's get going on the list. Senator Al Franken, Senator Askgrabber, ranking number 4. Franken says that he can't say he hasn't grabbed some asses while meeting women and posing for photos with them as a sitting United States Senator. I can, it's odd, because I can actually say, unequivocally, that I have not grabbed anyone's asses without realizing it. It's kind of a thing you're usually aware of doing if you do it. For me, it's just not a point of confusion, and I'm just Jimbo. We should really expect more from our elected officials. Next we have Louis C.K., Serial Masturbator of Ceremonies. Louis ranking is so low because, I mean, he did ask if he could jerk off in front of everyone he tried jerking off in front of. And as I'm doing this, I realize this is not cool that I'm doing this. <laughs> this is totally inappropriate. That is more of a courtesy than many of the other people on this list have afforded their victims. The reason why he still catches a 4 rating is because of how viciously he wielded his power when they weren't into it and ran away screaming. He tried ending their careers on most of those occasions. It basically makes him a great A asshole and a terrible person. Caution! You are about to enter the no spin zone. And then we have Bill O'Reilly, Hansy the Newsman, ranking a 5. O'Reilly catches a 5 rating because of the incredible amount of money that was paid to his victims to keep quiet. $32 million paid out to one person. Bill O'Reilly. This newly uncovered settlement is the sixth one involving allegations against O'Reilly. According to the Times, they have totaled about $45 million. Whatever he did, it was bad enough that he was willing to see them get paid $32 million to make sure the public never hears about it. He probably actually deserves like a 7 or 8, but we will leave him at a 5 for now since details are lacking at this point. So that leads us to Matt Lauer, the balding boner himself, ranking number 5. Lauer claims that some of what is being said is untrue or mischaracterized. However, despite being NBC's biggest cash cow, when executives saw the evidence put forth by his accuser, they immediately fired him. There are also stories of Matt just whipping it right out in front of a co-worker and then getting all pissed when she didn't want to do anything with it. Imagine getting all pissed off at everyone who doesn't want to play with your wiener. How do you even end up in that spot? And then next we have the President of the United States of America. Grab him by the pussy in chief. Ranking number seven, Donald Trump. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. Multiple women over a span of many years have accused Donald Trump of reaching his hand up their skirts and forcibly touching their vaginas and groping them against their will. He admitted that it's like his favorite move. Man, grab him by the pussy, he likes to say. Grab him by the pussy. I mean, the guy bragged about doing it. He's a terrible asshole. And he's our president. And then that leads us to the next person on our list, Bill Cosby. Serial raping, pudding addicted, roofie dropping extraordinaire. He gets a ranking of number 10. This man must have had some sort of a fetish for Sleeping Beauty or some shit because every single assault story told by practically all of his victims included drinking something he gave them and then waking up to his big stupid grinning face in a bathrobe several hours later. In all, nearly 60 women have come forward with similar stories of being drugged and sexually assaulted by America's dad. No, no, we don't answer that. There's no response. About what? There is no comment about that. Next on the list we have Harvey Weinstein, touchy-feely douchebag, ranked 10 with a super douche multiplier, adding 5, which gives him a total ranking of 15. Harvey Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein. How is everyone able to refrain from saying Harvey Weinstein? Weinstein. Weinstein. Either way, it may as well have been Shitstein. This asshole is a very specialized all-around piece of shit. 
Harvey Shitstein has at this point in time been accused of sexually harassing, assaulting, and or raping 84 women. 84 of them. No children to be found on this list, but the super douche multiplier adds 5 and takes him up to 15. And then we have Kevin Spacey. They all described to me a pattern of behavior where Kevin Spacey, who was not only the star but the executive producer of House of Cars, made this toxic work environment where he would prey on these young men. Boy touching, dick grabbing lunatic. Rank 8 with a child multiplier, giving him a total ranking of 16. Kevin Spacey, besmirching the name of gay dudes everywhere. This guy is so insane for Wang that he has reportedly attacked teenage boys in lust-filled boner rages and cannot stop himself from regularly grabbing the dicks of fellow actors on set. It also involved non-consensual physical touching. We're talking massages. We're talking touching people's stomachs. And this took, took, took place in front of a lot of people, tickling people, also grabbing people's private areas in front of people. His entire empire came crumbling down, and the man as, may as well have disappeared off of the face of the planet. So that is our list. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Go to school and you just stand there, you watch recess, you masturbate, whatever you want to do. <laughs> I mean, you could. It's a public school. Nobody would even give a shit. But I haven't thus far. It hasn't gotten that bad. Now, can I get something from you? What's that? That none of that will be shown.